Greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Foxweed, and today we shall discuss a shadowy and mysterious goddess of Greek religion, Hecate, a deity of childbirth and parenting, but also a terrible witchcraft. The goddess is often thought to have been first worshipped in the land of Caria before it spread across the Greek world. From early on, Hecate was often linked with the goddess of childbirth, Artemis, and her name may come from one of the titles of that goddess, but this is often doubted. Truly, Hecate was a goddess with a light side and a dark side. On one hand, she was thought to be a great protector, especially in moments of uncertainty and transition. She could help women in childbirth and watch over the children as they grew up. And she was also a goddess of crossroads, protecting travellers as they went along this strange no-man's land. A pillar statues of Hecate, called Hecatia, would guard house entrances to ward off evil spirits that tried to sneak past the threshold. Early Greek sources, Hesiod especially, have only nice things to say about her and pottery art from Athens depicts her as an innocuous woman, often carrying torches. In this art, we see Hecate standing with the dog, an animal with which she was often associated. But then there was a dark side to the goddess that only becomes clear to us from sources in classical antiquity. Yes, Hecate could help women in childbirth, but with this power, she could also let them die. And as Sarah Johnston put it, Hecate could indeed ward off evil spirits, but she could also let them in if she so desired, or even drive the spirits against people that displeased her. For this reason, we hear from various sources that Hecate could cause nightmares, and even send up vengeful ghosts from the underworld. She could haunt crossroads at night, followed by this retinue of ghosts, and dogs would howl if they sensed her presence. Uh, truly, canines were part of her cult, uh, but not always to their immediate benefit. Uh, sometimes we hear that puppies were sacrificed to Hecate, as at the city of Colophon. A uh, more dangerous still, uh, Hecate was a goddess linked with witchcraft, and this included magic of a destructive nature. In Greek tragedy, women plotting to kill with poison uh, sometimes invoke her name, as we hear in this prayer to Hecate uh, by Euripides. A daughter of Demeter, a goddess of the crossways, you rule over violent confrontations in the night. Because of her associations with magic and folklore, Hecate has been condemned as a product of vulgar superstition from antiquity to the modern day. Theophrastus, an ancient follower of Aristotle, a thought that superstitious men often worried that Hecate might haunt their house. In the previous century, we see historians that saw her rise to prominence as a mark of the decline of Greek culture. Vilimovitz, in particular, didn't like the dog sacrifices at her shrines, so he declared this practice to be distinctly un-Greek, unhellenitia, which seems a bit silly, given that the Spartans also sacrificed puppies. Anyway, that concludes our discussion on Hecate, a goddess of the crossroads. Whenever you reach a road intersection, ensure that you have made her an offering in advance. A class dismissed, and thanks once more to our patrons. May Hecate protect your souls. <laughs>